Hello, my dear friend Elizabeth. Hi. So, you uh, had a question or topic. Uh, basically, all around the same theme, but you said words, definitions, perceptions, reality, the power of words. Why stay positive? What power does it hold? I'm glad you brought that up. <clears throat> Uh, that's been coming up for me a lot, um, words. Uh, I think I did a post not too long ago about how we can get lost in words that really I started to realize that recently. Words can be really powerful, of course, as a writer. Uh, and, you know, well, any human can, can knows this and feels this. But when we're, those of us that really express in word, uh, we know it more than anybody. It's, it's so powerful. But I've also come to realize that when we're in the thick of things, when we're in an emotional, unstable place in our interpersonal relationships or in our situations, and we get up in the mind and we get into fear and we get into confusion and all those things, when we, when we suffer and when we struggle, and then we try to communicate, um, well, we see things fall apart. and. Uh, and even beyond the most obvious saying things we don't mean, you know, saying hurtful things in a heat of the moment, you know, those obvious things that we, we, we learn at an early age and then we spend a lifetime trying to ascend, even beyond those, uh, even when we're doing our very best to be very sensitive with our words and careful, when we're in the heat, when we're still uh, not in our best uh, heart space or, or place of stillness, when we're, we're still attached to the outcome or we're, we're caught in a mental loop and our perceptions uh, change and it's being fueled by emotion. When all those kind of things happen, even when we're trying carefully not because we don't want to offend, when we start to get uh, have conflict, especially with somebody else, the words, um, we get lost in the words. And the words actually become a hindrance and no longer the intention is being seen on either side and uh, they're just blind and it's just pointless and so anything that is said now they're, the other person is cherry picking what the other person is saying and they already have perceived perception of what you're trying to do and they're just doing the same thing and so it can all fall apart uh, and it all has to do with perception because this whole experience is perception we are the masters of our own experience and uh, we'll expect you know we if, if really we'll either make it hell or we'll make it heaven or for most somewhere in between uh, and we do that in our perceptions so it's all tricky stuff <laughs> this communication this expression because we're also trying to express things that can't be expressed that's the other thing we're making this world way too complicated with rules that in a world that when we're free beings and we want freedom and this is a free world and it's a free reality and yet we're trying to impose and define and do all these things which is against all that and then we're trying to express all of that as well and express what we're feeling what we're expecting which is so complex and express you know how do you express a sunset I mean so we're all trying hard to express and it's, it's amazing expressions and varied uh, but that's all we can do is our best and uh, and especially try to do it as much as possible from the heart space and then things go smoother but other than that we just got to fumble through because it is all about perception you are going to believe whatever you're going to want to believe no matter what I tell you <laughs> I mean if I tell you something and it starts to resonate it's because some part of you is open to that or wants to believe that or wants to explore that or needed to hear that or already knew that you know whatever it was but essentially it's all coming out to you you're, you you're in charge of your own life and your own experience, no one else. So we can share and we even influence each other a little bit, but the bottom line is when it's all said and done, uh, it's all just a game of perception and expression and uh, you'll, you'll feel and believe and experience what you want to. No mistakes. So yeah, words can be powerful, they can also be very uh, useless at some point. They can be also very damaging and they can also be very useful, or useless, I should say, uh, when we get too lost, in, especially in conflict. And um, 
the second part of that question. And was, I stay positive. What power does it hold? Well, um, like I've said, I, I have said it uh, in a previous video, actually, that uh, that I just did. That uh, positivity is a great thing. Definitely, you want to be as positive as possible. But you can't really force it too much. If you try to force it too much and just use mantras, but if I mean, if you're sitting around thinking negative all the time, but then your your mouth saying everything's okay, everything is good, I appreciate, but you're not really. You know what I mean? I'm not saying people, everybody does it. You know, some people do, some people don't. What I'm saying is um, they can become that if we're not uh, positivity. Uh, that's why we see some people frown upon it and think it's phony. Um, because they obviously some part of the, well, there's a lot of reasons. We won't, I better not get up too off track here. Let me reel it back. I was about to go way off track in about five different directions. Um, bottom line is positivity is great, but where, where you naturally will become more positive is just by going inward and uh, into stillness and just making a choice to be happy and, and fulfill yourself and self-love and, and keep pulling back and, and giving yourself what you need and then stepping back into the world a little less attached and a little more open and embracing acceptance and gratitude but it all stems from self-love and, and, and it, everything does so you'll be more positive once you you keep tapping into you more because then you'll see how you'll feel how connected you are to everything and you'll see things more of a gift than you will see them as negative things so all those everything in life will always start to work itself out these processes will work out but it always you know always default back to self-love and stillness and, and making the choice to be happy and to love yourself and to take the time and not be afraid to be still with yourself and just marinating yourself and when you do that these other things start to happen and so then then uh, you can inspire with words and you can uh, also hold us tight to words and beliefs and, and play with them and not be ruled by them and you can do all these so many things you can do anything you want to do really and you can also uh, be more accepting and you'll just naturally see yourself and everything and everybody and you'll you'll be from that place of stillness and self-love uh, you'll just be more accepting and uh, and yeah I think I've covered it. Uh, yeah, and you'll just naturally be see things, you'll see more see the magic than you'll see see it in a negative way. Your perception will change. And so uh, so just let it happen naturally and just keep going back to do what you love, you know. Uh, if you're an artist, a uh, very talented artist, uh, keep doing that. Whatever it is uh, that clears your mind of worry and fills your heart, keep doing that. And keep reinforcing the decision to be happy and to truly discover life and discover yourself and get excited about it and take the time you need to quiet things down and rebalance re yourself and then step back into the experience again. Hope I answered your questions.